Solving by using the square roots or factoring is faster than using the formula, but if you're stuck, the formula will always work. The formula is x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Now every place I put a letter, I put parentheses around it, that's going to be important. It's also important to realize that this square root goes over the whole rest of that and that the divided by goes under everything we have written on the top. So the idea is that we have to have the quadratic equation in standard form first, just like in the last section, so that it equals zero. Then we find a, b, and c, we put those numbers into those parentheses, and we use the formula to find two answers. So now let's see how it works. I'm going to write the formula on the top of this screen so that we have it to look back at. It's a good idea if you write the formula for every problem you're doing so that you are careful about where you're putting in the letters. This is already in standard form and it tells me that a is 2, b is 3, and c is negative 5. So I'm going to write x equals the opposite of, and then I'm going to put that 3 in place of that b, plus or minus the square root of, and then I'm going to put that 3 in place of the b squared minus 4 times, and the a goes in that parenthesis, and then c in the next parenthesis, and that's all over 2 times a in the bottom parenthesis. Now we're going to need to do some simplifying here. I would suggest that we do all of this in our calculators all at once. So if you type in parenthesis 3 parenthesis squared minus 4 parenthesis 2 parenthesis parenthesis negative 5 parenthesis just like you see it, you should get 49. So that leaves us with negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 49. And we'll also do this part down here, which is 4. And that makes it a lot um, shorter to write, and it looks easier just because we have that whole inside done all at once. Now we know from last chapter that the square root of 49 is 7. So this really is x equals negative 3 plus or minus 7 over 4. And we won't write that square root because we've already taken it, the symbol. Now this really leads us to two answers. This is a little bit like we did in the last section. We have to write two equations. So let me uh, write my first equation up here. This gives me x equals negative 3 plus 7 over 4. And let's finish this problem first. Negative 3 plus 7 over 4 is 4 over 4. And that gives me 1 as my first answer. And that was using this plus sign. So now I need to use the minus sign. So I'll have x is equal to negative 3 minus 7 over 4. Or x is equal to negative 10 over 4. And reduce that and we get negative 5 over 2. That's my second answer. We'll do the same thing with this problem, but it's not in standard form for already. So we need to subtract 3 from both sides. And that gives us 3x squared minus 8x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now from here we can read that a is 3, b is negative 8, and c is negative 3. We'll write the formula down. x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. So down here we'll have x equals the opposite and b will be a negative 8 
plus or minus the square root of b, again, which is a negative 8 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is negative 3, all over 2 times a, which is 3. So again, we'll do all of this in our calculators at once. If you type it in just like you see it, you should get 100. This right here is a negative and a negative that gives us a positive. So we'll have x equals positive 8 plus or minus the square root of 100. And on the bottom we have 2 times 3, which is 6. Now we know that the square root of 100 is 10, so we have 8 plus or minus 10 over 6. That gives us two equations. We'll do the plus one first. x equals 8 plus 10 over 6, which is 18 over 6, which is 3. And then we'll do the minus 1. x equals 8 minus 10 over 6, which is negative 2 over 6, which is a negative 1 third. This one already is in standard form, um, but there's something missing here, right? This middle piece, there's no just plain A, or plain, yeah. So here, this is a equals 5, and because there's no middle piece, we could write it as b, we would write as b equals 0, and c equals negative 20. It might be helpful to write plus 0a minus 20 as our standard form to see your a, your b, and your c. So we'll write our formula up here. We don't have an x this time, we have an a. Um, but let's write x instead, just because of, of the letters in the formula. So we have the opposite of b plus or minus b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. So if x equals the opposite of b, b is 0, plus or minus the square root of b squared which is 0 squared, minus 4 times a, and a is 5, times c, which is a negative 20, all over 2 times a, which is 5. So we'll do some simplifying here. Minus 0, or negative 0, which is 0, plus or minus. We'll do this whole inside at once. You can type it in just like you see it. It should give us 400 all over 2 times 5, which is 10. Now if you take the square root of 400, you get 20. So we have x is equal to 0 plus or minus 20 over 10. So if we do x equals 0 plus 20 over 10, we get 20 over 10, which is 2. If we do x equals 0 minus 20 over 10, we get negative 20 over 10, which is negative 2. So our two answers are positive 2 and negative 2.